कृष्णा ऑफ कोर्स सेड इट वेरी क्लियरली दैट क्रोधात भी जाए थे समूह इज क्रोध इज द वर्स थिंग एंगर इज द वर्स इन अकॉर्डिंग टू फ्रॉम ओनली फ्रॉम एंगर एवरी थिंग कम्स बट ही डिन से हाउ द एंगर कम्स ही डिन टॉक अबाउट इट दैट द सोर्स ऑफ एंगर वॉज योअर लिवर and also your upbringing these two things give you horrible anger unless and until you witness yourself your realization has no meaning you should separate yourself from yourself and see for yourself what is really wrong with you now supposing somebody is a very hot tempered person instead of taking pride in it or using that temper to control others he should try to control himself how first is the krodha any body who wants to be a saint should know that anger this krodha should have no place uh, how do you do it you first of all witness yourself how you behave for example i would say artificially you become angry artificially and stand before the mirror see your face how you look like you'll be surprised you It looks like a face of a monkey or a tiger or i don't know what animal you must have been in last life and then you are amazed that you are still carrying the traces of that previous life that was whatever was the animal then the second thing would be take out the anger upon yourself as we have in sa yoga we write down our own names and beat it but it is should be that if you get angry with yourself then you will see that you have won over your anger because angry people only torture others they don't torture themselves of course sometimes they feel bad later on they feel i should not have done this they develop a left which way but mainly if you start getting angry with yourself why should i have done this why did i do this why should i get tempted to this you'll be surprised your temper temper will go down and also physically you should see you have a liver problem with that you just face yourself and tell that i am going to get rid of this liver problem how dare it become my enemy and stop my ascent in spirituality so the first the witness state has to be developed for a sahaj yogi is very important to develop a witness state but normally what happens that sahaj yogis develop a witness state for others now you know in sahaj yoga the door is open to everyone and sab mad people also walk in some funny people also walk in some very bad character people also walk in all kinds of things So now you should see what are you worried about are you worried about people who have problems who are no good for whom you cannot say that they'll be sajogis or you are enjoying the people who have got sajog this temper sometimes has made people really mad i tell you 
can go into your head and can make you mad. And we have some mad people in Sahaja Yoga, we have still. But they have become so mad that now they are no more angry, they, they are no more troublesome, they are just mad, that's all. For such people you shouldn't worry. There's no need to witness others, witness yourself. And I sometimes feel that anger comes through too much austerity, too much of extreme nature also. Some Sahaja Yogis are extremely austere, austere about everything. It's maddening. In Sahaja Yoga there is, everything is Sahaj, is spontaneous. You are not to be austere. This should not be particular. Now I said, now it's not better not to wear a black sari or something, if I say so. Then it doesn't become a sentence from Brahma. Supposing then somebody is wearing a black sari and coming, you will all run away from that person or black clothes. It's not that. You are gurus yourself. Why should we be afraid of any kind of person who comes to you, whether it is black, white or any type? Why should you have any fear? The another side of temper is fear. A man who is hot-tempered always have fear because he sees himself in others. He sees that another person also must be having the same kind of temper and he'll attack me. So he is always on the protective. In a Sahaj manner, what we do is to live without fear. He said that wages of sin is fear. But I would say wages of anger. Those people who were very aggressive, say, for example, develop frights, all kinds of frights. Those countries who have invaded other countries and rule other countries and have got the experience of their ego, of their anger, become extremely frightened people especially the soldiers who go on the war, kill so many people and come back and they are frightened. I asked one of them in America, I said, what are you frightened of? He said, I feel that I have killed so many people, now so many will kill me. But I said, why do you think like that? Why should anybody kill you? He says, because why did I kill others? Why did I kill others? Because I killed others so, anybody can kill me, isn't it, without reason, rhyme and reason? Logically, I agreed. But his fear was so much that when he came in my presence, he was just shaking, the whole body was shaking with fear. So, whatever aggression we do, come boomerangs on us and we become very frightened about everything. 